Welcome, my dear friends, to a new lesson. In today's world, geographic data plays a crucial role in analyzing and managing large amounts of spatial information. Whether you're mapping hiking trails, identifying parks, or analyzing city layouts, feature layers allow you to store, manage, and visualize large datasets efficiently. In this lecture, we will explore how to add and display point, line, and polygon features using ArcGIS and the Feature Layer class. You'll learn how to utilize feature services to integrate geographic data into your web applications seamlessly. Educational objectives. By the end of this lecture, you will understand how to create and configure feature layers, point, line, and polygon in an ArcGIS map. Learn how to interact with different types of geographic data, such as trailheads, trails, and parks using ArcGIS services. Gain insight into how to use access tokens and configure security settings for accessing location services. Become familiar with the ArcGIS feature service and its role in delivering spatial data to your web applications. After mentioning the educational objectives, we also mention some definitions related to this lecture. Before we dive into the code, let's clarify some important concepts that will be central to this lecture. Point represents a single location on the map, such as a trailhead or a building. Line, polyline, a series of connected points that form a path, such as a road or a trail. Polygon, a shape formed by connecting multiple points used to represent areas such as parks or lakes. Feature, a special object in a feature layer with geometry, point, line, or polygon, and associated attributes. Geometry, the shape or structure of a feature, X maple, a point, line, or polygon. Feature layer, a data set that stores features of a single geometry type and their attributes accessed through a feature service. Attributes, the non-spatial data associated with a feature such as a name, type, or any other descriptive information. Data services, APIs or services that provide access to geographic data layers for applications. Access token, a secure token that provides authenticated access to ArcGIS services. Privileges, permissions required to access specific ArcGIS services such as location services or item access. As we know that a feature layer is a data set in a hosted feature service. Each feature layer contains features with a single geometry type, point, line, or polygon, and a set of attributes. You can use feature layers to store, access, and manage large amounts of geographic data for your applications. You get features from a feature layer by accessing its URL. In this tutorial, you will use URLs to access and display three different hosted feature layers. Step-by-step -step tutorial breakdown. So now let's open Visual Studio and create a new page called Add a Feature Layer. And then we will write the normal HTML code with references to the CS files as well as ArcGIS as a script. The first step is to set up the map with a base map. In this case, we are using the topographic base map. To use the ArcGIS services, you need an API key which provides authenticated access. sreconfig.apikey. This line sets your API key, which is required to authenticate your access to the ArcG 
IS services. Base map defines the base layer of the map. In this case, it's a topographic map. Adding modules. Next, you need to load the necessary ArcGIS modules. The feature layer module will allow you to add and manage feature layers. Require statement. This function is used to load the necessary Arc GIS modules, such as Map, Map View, and Feature Layer. Once loaded, we can use these modules to create a map and add layers. Adding Point Feature Layer Trailheads. Here, we will use a service called Trailheads. To learn about this service, Trailheads is service. If we go back to the ESRI website to see what it is, to see the contents of this map service, and see its properties, for example, if we go down to the end of the page and click on the query, a form will open for us for the service in it. In the where field, we write here 1 is equal 1, and also in the out fields. We write star. Then we click on query, get to see here all the data in this service. Now, we will add a point feature layer, which represents trailheads on the map. We create an instance of feature layer and set its URL property to the URL of the feature layer we want to add. Add trailheads layer to the map. Feature layer represents a data set of geographic features with a common geometry type, in this case, points. URL. The URL points to the ArcGIS feature service that provides the trailhead data. Map.add trailheads layer adds the trailheads feature layer to the map. Adding line feature layer trails. Now we hope to put another service which is trails URL. And if we want to browse this service, in the same way, we can go to the service to browse its properties. And browse the properties of the layer. Make note of the name, type, drawing, info, and fields properties. Next, let's add a line feature layer. which represents trails. Lines are typically drawn below points. So we add this layer with an index of zero, ensuring that it appears below the point layer. Add trails. Layer to the map with an index of zero. This ensures that the layer is added to the top of the array and is drawn before trailheads layer. The trails layer displays geographic lines, such as hiking trails. Map dot add trails layer zero the second parameter zero ensures that the layer is added before the trailheads layer. Adding polygon feature layer parks and open spaces. In the same way. To browse the service and know the features of the service called Parks and Open Spaces URL. Finally, we add a polygon feature layer to represent parks and open spaces. As polygons are typically drawn below lines, we add this layer with an index of zero to ensure that it appears at the bottom of the stack. Add Parks layer to the map with an index of zero. 
This ensures that the layer is added to the top of the array and is drawn before trail layer. When you run the application, the map view will display the layers in the following order. Topographic base map. Parks and open spaces polygons. Trails lines. Trail heads points. This order ensures that the features are layered correctly and are easy to visualize without overlapping incorrectly. Now let's run the page. Let's see the result. Wow, very good. The map and the new added layers appeared. Excellent, guys. Our work is great and we gained new knowledge. Conclusion In this tutorial, we have successfully added and displayed point, line, and polygon feature layers on a map using ArcGIS. We learned how to configure and manage data layers using feature services and explored the significance of access tokens and privileges in securing our data. This is just the beginning using ArcGIS. You can create rich interactive maps to visualize and manage all kinds of geographic information. Now that you've mastered adding feature layers, try customizing the symbology of these layers or querying specific attributes from the data to make your map more interactive. In the next session, we'll dive deeper into pop-up configurations and styling feature layers for better user interaction and data visualization. Quiz. Test your knowledge with a few questions. What are the different geometry types supported by feature layers? How can you secure your API key for feature services? What role do attributes play in feature layers? We have learned new things and there is more for you to master. We will meet you in the next lecture, which will be titled Style Feature Layer.